Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna go through my home mining farm, find all the broken GPUs, and figure out what I need to do to get them fixed. So, we'll start right here. Look at this Zotac. Look at that fan, that fan is not looking good. It's really wobbly, so that's gotta come out. Got to figure out replacing that. So we'll take a look at that. I'm going to take all the GPUs out that need some repair and we'll take a look at them on the bench together. So that's my, this is my 3070 rig. Got anything else in here? Yep, here's another one. So let's see if we get it. So this is an Asus Dual. That fan is toast. I'm going to have to take that one out. Strix is looking good on the end. AMD rig, let's see. Let's take a look here. What is going on with this card? Get back over there. So all the fans are looking good. I know which ones have stopped mining, so we'll take a look at those, but, oh, here's another. Asus Dual 3060 Ti, I think, or 3070. Another dead fan. I had no idea about that one. It's trying. Uh, let's see, anything else in here? Looking all good. 3060 Ti's. Gigabyte's looking good. Oh, here, <laughs> I didn't know about this one either. Here's another one. Gigabyte, ugh, always. That fan's dead. I just kickstarted it. That's gonna have to come out. I think that's, that's I don't know what that is. Might be a 3070, 3060 Ti. Coming up from there, 3070 Ti's. This one I knew about. This is a 3070 Ti Zotac. It's just not even lighting up. It's not showing up in the miner. It's the same card as this one next to it. And you can see I got nothing. So this might be completely dead. I'm gonna take that one out. 3060s up here. That's a pretty newer rig. They're looking good. All right, uh, this is a newer rig too. 3080 Ti's, those should be okay. I just built this one recently. And this one recently, those are 6600s and XT's. Those should be good. Now, the Crypto Caverns case, I know this fan is dead. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And I know there's a 580 in there that's not working. Oh, I just fixed that fan. Uh, there's a 580 in there that's not working, so we're gonna have to take a look at that too. Open that up. Uh, and then this is the card in question here for sure. You can see a fan's not working. 3060 Ti full hash rate. The hotspot temperature is ridiculous on that card right now. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that. That's everything I think over here that's happening. Um, all this stuff is good. I got some cars that aren't working up here. This is a 1660 uh, Super that has a fan not working. So we'll get that down on the bench. Um, 1080 should be fine. This I know for sure isn't working, but I, it's probably time to revisit it. There's a 5700 Red Devil. So maybe I'll take a look at that one. Um, what else, what else? Oh, you know what the other, other fan that failed on me is this exhaust fan doesn't work. It's a variable one. It was grinding like crazy. It'll turn on. It sounds like it turns on, but there's nothing happening inside that. So I actually bought a new fan to replace that. So I have to do that as well. And yeah, I'm gonna get all these cards out. We'll get them on the bench, look at them a little further, and get a plan together for getting them fixed. So I got all the cards pulled out of the farm that aren't working, that have some type of issue, and I have them sorted. The six cards over here are all fan-related issues. The one I wanna call out for sure is this horrible white Zotac 3070. Look at those. That is disgusting. I promise I did not smoke around this card. I don't smoke at all, never have. But um, this fan is just toast, completely toast. This one seems all right. This one, toast. So we're gonna look at all these. I have some ideas on some of the cards. I think I might try some sewing machine oil I heard can work to get them up and running again. So we might try that out. And then this is the pile of cards that are dead. And the first one I'll start with is the 3070 Ti. This is the Zotac. Now this one's probably my fault because I broke the fan blade. I broke one of the uh, off the fan blade. You can see right there in the center. 
And so when this car was mining, it would just vibrate a lot, a real lot in there because of the, the fans not being symmetrical, I guess. Um, and if mine fine and then eventually drops from the rig and doesn't light up or anything, I haven't tested it. So we're going to test this one, the 580, this will show up in hash for a little bit and then drop completely. I got it working again by just cleaning the PCIe slot on it, but it dropped again a few days later. So I'll just test that one out. And this one's been around probably a year and a half, not mining. It's a red devil five, seven, uh, 5,700. And it just won't hash at all. It'll be recognized last time I tested it, but once I start hashing, it'll crash. Um, and I've seen some potential fixes for this out there. So we'll see what we get to in this video. But I'm going to get started getting some things up on the test bench here. The first one I want to do is this 3070 Ti and just see if it works at all. So I'm going to get this going. Moment of truth. Let's see if this thing lights up at all. Hey, it does. That's a good sign. Let's see if uh, if it'll mine. Great news, the card is mining fine. You can see it mining right now. Everything's working great on this card. Just that broken fan that I do have to fix. So it's gonna move over to the fan pile. And then I'm just gonna have to look at what could have went wrong in that mining rig, perhaps because the card was vibrating so much. The PCIe cable or the riser just came loose, but that's easy fix. Much better than dead GPU. On to the next one. 580's up in there, not great news on this one. You can see the miner right now, it cannot find any GPU connected. And if you look at it, I got no fans going. Even though everything is lit up, the riser's lit up, the PCIe slot is lit up, lit up on this one. I'm gonna try again to clean the PCIe connector on the bottom and see if we get any different result. Same issue on this one. Last thing I'm gonna try is flip the BIOS switch to see if there's a BIOS issue. Same exact problem switching the BIOS. So this card is dead for now. I'm gonna do more research, but we're gonna move on to the next one. Sad to say, 5700 confirmed again as being dead. If you look over in the minor and Hive OS, you can see GPU is not detected. I did get it pick up once after multiple reboots uh, and then instantly got an error in the minor and back to where I started. I tried. The BIOS switch in both positions, I have in the past reflashed the BIOS, but same issue with this card. So I'm gonna have to maybe send this one away for repair or dive into this one a little bit deeper. Let's look at some of the issues I'm having with fans. And I've really think I'm looking at two different issues. One I could potentially fix and one probably just needs to be replaced. So let's start with that Zotac. I took those horrible stickers off, pried them off, then just took all the adhesive off with alcohol. Now, the one thing it might be hard to see uh, on the camera, but this fan blade rocks back and forth quite a bit. So it doesn't spin and it rocks a lot compared to the other one. Compar in comparison to this Gigabyte card, which this fan stuck, this fan also is stuck. This is a good fan. And what I'm finding is these don't rock as much. Like they feel all really good. So I think this is a good candidate for me to try the sewing machine oil on them, so I'm gonna do that. Let me get the camera set up. So I got this Asus Dual. You see this fan, it's not doing so well. So I think I might be able to pop this one out this way. Let's see. Something happened. So check it out, underneath this fan, you see that little post sticking up? Right there is where I'm gonna oil. That's where the fan will sit in thought of this genius idea since I can't reach in there. I'm going to put some oil in this like cocktail straw. Okay, oil is in. Flip that back around, push it back together. And look at that. Okay, much better already. And that's the original fan. Looking good. So you can fix these fans pretty easy, at least for a little while, uh, just using some sewing machine oil, popping it out a little bit. And then, like I said, I just use a cocktail straw to get the oil down in where it needs to go in the fan. And then we're back up and running. So I got that Asus Dual 3070 up here that I just did some work on the fan on. And I also did a bunch of work on all the rest of the GPUs having fan issues. And I'll walk you through a little bit of that in a second here, but let's finish up with this card. So switching over to the test bench, looking really good. Performance is great. 61 and a half mega hash. 
at 113 watts. Core is running really cool, 52 degrees Celsius. Fans right now just have on auto, and they're around 50%, and they sound great. So super happy with the results of this card. I also did the same thing on the identical 3070 I have. Um, will work just as well. Let's mess around. Got the Zotac working with just oiling the fan. I might do a post a separate video on this one or this MSI I also did um, work on the fan. This is probably the easiest to pop the fan off and not have to replace it. I have to replace any of the fans on these cars. That's four cars I was able to use machine oil to get them unstuck uh, and moving again. So I'm feeling really good about that. There were two cards though that did give me issues and the first one was really disappointing and it's still in pieces here. Uh, but this is an EVGA 1660 Super, the one that had the fan that was stuck. Tried to pop it off, get it oiled, wasn't working. It's now, it just needs a fan replacement. Um, and I'll talk about why that was really frustrating here in a second. The next one is this Gigabyte 3070. Um, same thing, Gigabyte fans are just terrible. Here's the 3070. Two of the fans are out. I'm just going to replace all three, but two of them are out. Uh, they need to be replaced. I used to replace Gigabyte fans on my 1070. It's just a nightmare. So those are the two that fan-wise, I got some parts on order. I'll walk you through that in a second. Um, and then overall, I have two dead GPUs, the 580 and the 5700, but made a lot of progress. These were sitting around, so I'm still pretty happy about it. So let me show you how I shop for fans and where I get some fans for, uh, from. So heading over to Amazon here, uh, let me talk about the EVGA 1660 Super first. It was really frustrating because those identical fans are just not available uh, anywhere. And they're, they're really interesting because they are two fans spliced into a single connector. So I found these, which are from older EVGA cards, but it's the same setup. And they're the same size, though they just don't have the EVJ logo stamped on the fan blades, which I'm personally okay with. So I got these coming in. We'll see how they do. But just give you an idea, guys. This stuff's pretty cheap, like 15 bucks. It's going to be here tomorrow, and I'm going to be working on replacing that. Um, and then for the Gigabyte, a little more expensive. But for the three fans, again, Amazon, $37. Uh, and these will work with that card if you scroll down here. It says it will work with the 3070 uh, Eagle and the 3060 Ti Gaming. So uh, those should work just fine for this GPU. But I get almost everything on Amazon. You could go eBay. There is some websites that just exist for GPU fan replacements. But I find most of the things on Amazon and get them here really quick and get them going. So that's pretty much the state of things right now. Let me clear this off. And we have one more fan to look at. All right, we got to look at this fan. So this is my Vivo Sun 8-inch fan that stopped working. And uh, man, one night in the middle of the night, it was making some sound that woke me up. That was probably sounds of hell itself. But um, I, this is the first time taking a look at it. I mean, it looks fine, a little dusty. I mean, it did its job. It's like at least three years old now. But I'm curious, uh, don't do this at home with all the fan blades exposed on this. I'm curious, I'm gonna plug it in and see what it's doing, if anything. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Yeah, nothing. So the motor's running, but fan's not spinning at all on it. It's just like making a hum. So this thing is toast. Farewell, my friend. Thanks for the good times. And we got somebody new joining us. So out with the old and in with the new. Look at this from AC Infinity. Eight inch fan, just gonna replace that one. Much slimmer, a little higher CFM. I'm curious on how it does with sound. Those ones are pretty loud. I'm gonna let this one join my other eight inch Vivo Sun I have up there. Um, and it'll allow me just to do some comparisons. Maybe I wind up replacing that one too. So I'm gonna get this hooked up. Might as well end where we started. There's that Zotac 3070. Fans looking really good on that. We'll go through the rest of the cards over here that I fixed. There's the Asus Duel. Get a good look there. Fans are rolling really good on that. Um, here's the 3060 Ti, the MSI that I fixed the fans on. That card is doing beautiful. 
and the temperatures are looking really good. And then I think the other Asus Dual, yeah, is right there, looking really good as well. So feeling really good about all that. As you come over here, I replaced that 580 that died uh, with the 6600 that's just rolling in there right now. And then, oh, down here. So I got the 1660 Super Fans in and those are working beautifully in that card. So uh, really stoked on that too. And then I guess the last thing we'll talk about is, a, is the last fan I replaced, which is the exhaust fan for the grow tent. So I replaced the Vivo Sun fan, which is just like this one with the AC Infinity fan. Look how slim that is. It's more powerful, has extra features. We'll take a look at it in a second. But I am so impressed with that fan. Um, Highly recommend it if you're gonna go exhaust fans for a grow tents or anything else you got going on. So, oh yeah, so let's take a look. So it's got a temperature probe that runs down inside the tent, hooks back to this controller interface um, that I set up, 94 degrees Fahrenheit in there right now. It can control everything right from here. So uh, I'm loving that. I think I'm gonna move the other one over to an AC Infinity fan as well. That's it guys, this was like a day and a half of work May not seem like it in a 20 minute video. This is probably gonna wind up being, but a ton of work down here. Glad I got to it. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. I'm gonna have a video on this Sapphire Mining Edition card coming soon. So sub for that. Join my Discord if you wanna chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.